Our youth is under attack. Let's talk about it. What's going on, Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We gotta give him all the glory at all times, all the praise, all the honor, because he is truly deserving of it. Man, this is uh, one of those videos that it, it doesn't rub my soul right because we're seeing our youth under attack. When you look at the young lady who was a college student who committed suicide. We're seeing more and more of this. And when you see the latest news of rapper Young Thug, you know, currently in jail, and they have, you know, video footage of, you got uh, Lucci, you got other rappers associated with it, and Young Thug being the leader of a, 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 a street gang. Like, man, if it takes people getting close to death and people having to go to jail and sit down for a lengthy period of time to come to Jesus. If you don't see the signs, why not get close now? Why not build your relationship now? Because all of this stuff that our youth is getting involved in, when you look at like half a TikTok, when you look at majority of the music they listen to, when you look at the entertainment they like, the type of activities that they get into, experiment with some of these crazy drugs, what do you think is gonna come out of it? And there are major cities out there where the devil has set up shop. And somebody, somebody from our youth has to step up, man, against this stuff because we're watching people die left and right due to satanic and demonic influences. Like, we gotta get ahead of it. And how much longer are you gonna sit by and support all of these different things and possibly let your kids be a part of it and not step up and say something. Step up and try to actually have an influence. See, this platform and everything we're seeing in life, it all ties back to our disobedience to our Lord and Savior. When I see rappers and things like that that have so much talent and then they get caught up in different cases, Rico cases, whatever you call them, like you could have used your talents for the kingdom. You could have used your gifts for the kingdom and avoided all this failure. But now if they got evidence on you and they got video footage and if somebody Takashi six nines and lets it all air out, you're gonna sit down. And once you sit down and you have that coming to Jesus moment, that gangster should leave your spirit because, you know, when I was younger, man, it was about getting some money. We wasn't trying to live no life of crime. Let me get some money and stay low key. But now you got people that were never gangster, that want to be gangster, get the money and be a criminal you're gonna get caught. You're gonna get caught. And they're not putting out how to become prosperous type music and entertainment. You got people that aren't at peace. You got everybody up on social media saying, look at me, I'm confident, I'm proud, I'm at peace. But ultimately, y'all getting popped off like flies left and right. The same one that recruited you is sniping you, the devil saying, hey, I got all the money, the success, the fame, the followers, the views you want. And then once you get in there and he get a hold on you, he gonna get up close and personal with you, up close and personal, and, and, and sneak you with the pistol, pistol whip you, pow. Your life was mine from the get go. I knew I had you, pow. Got all these people committing suicide and the ages are getting younger and younger. You look at some of these people committing suicides and you like, you didn't even have no real responsibility yet. What was you so depressed? And it's just the, the stronghold the devil is trying to get on our youth. 
If the devil gets our youth, he can stop the next generation. He can affect the next generation. And trust and believe, you better get closer to God now. You better develop your relationship now. Because if you don't, I'm telling you, he is gonna walk right in your front door because you were so foolish that you didn't even realize you needed to lock it in this world we live in. Man, this is truly sad, some of the stuff that's going on, and yet we still have people supporting these arguments, supporting these stances when they can't even see the foolishness. Are you so caught up on your own BS and your own truth that you're not willing to save yourself and others at least at a bare minimum, be willing to save yourself. But yet, you believe your own truth and you drag others down with you. Nothing but crabs in the bucket. Real faith don't move like that. We got a lot of our youth out here that's got a lot of talent. You see what I'm saying? A lot of talent, but they don't have hope. A lot of talent and a lot of gifts, but no faith. And you ain't gonna get nowhere like that. It's gonna be short-lived. Either you gonna self-destruct or either you gonna have to sit down. This is sad, man. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Wow.